Oh, Clyde, did I tell you I think I figured out the clang on my rover? Uh, you, you said something about the gun. Uh, no. Oh, well. So, no, it was the passageway that I have. Passageway? Yeah, the little, um, thing that goes uh, up and down the bike entrance into the ship. Isn't that a static lock? I shouldn't have any moving parts. Huh? No, 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 no. The... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, like the ramp passageway in the center. Pollen season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sniffly year round anyway. So, I don't know what happened, but I was driving around, I come out, and half of it was missing. And ever since then, the thing was gone. So, I rebuilt it with glass doors all the way around both edges. And, yeah, not been a problem. So, I'm pretty sure that was grinding somewhere. Probably because I put weight on it. And because when I built it, it was fine, but when it weighed down, probably uh, the hinges went off set. Oh, that's not enough place. Yeah, right? Yeah, it can be really annoying to find these bits. Usually not the best you think it is. Uh, do you need any more help, shotgun? I think I'm good for now. Thank you much. Yeah, if it's not spring and pollen, it's summer and fresh cut grass, or winter in the dry air. I'm always sniffing. I'm always sniffly, stuffed up, or something. Energy low. It's annoying. Next time it gets bad enough, I might even go to the drugstore and get some Flonase or whatever. I don't care if it's addicted, addictive. As long as it keeps me from being all sniffly and snuffly. I think it's about time to break for lunch. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick this over in the storage area. Man, my engineer is strong as hell. Strong as hell, son. Lift a whole large grid cargo container by himself. Granted, it's empty. But still. Pretty damn strong. That's a huge bitch. Let's see, I need. Oh, I can build this. I might need to go get some motors and whatnot, but we'll see. Oh, we got it. And locked. Cocked and locked. Bend and snap. Let's see, I can get to the cockpit. Noise. We're getting energy, it's powered. Oop. Oop. Was that? So we might need to build a little platform here. Just to keep us from you know, hit the T button. I learned that trick recently. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong block. There we go. Now we can get in, get out. Let's turn this bitch on. We can operate it from here. Now let's give myself a little bit more relief. Uh, 
that should be good. Let's do a little bit of a hinge lock. Rotor lock, I mean. Rotor lock is on. I think that must be. Oop. Low health. Ooh. That must be Clyde. Game's bugging out. Give me his sound effects. We need another med kit. And I'm back. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you, you up to? Do me a favor. Uh, sure. Turn off your grinders. Oh, forgot about that. They've probably been all on light. Nope. Nope. I just turned them on. Did you grind yourself? I needed a respawn. <laughs> <laughs> so you ate glass. Yeah. No, I was dead on the restart. I don't know why. I was, um, uh, in my ship. So. Mmm. You got an oxygen tank? Tank. No, but it's fully O2'd. Yeah, I wonder why you might have died in that case. Because yeah, right. you have an air vent and everything. Yep. But I'm wondering, like, if the storm is bad. Because I notice, like, sometimes you can have your visor up while it's storming, but then mm -hmm. other times the storm gets bad enough where you can't breathe the atmosphere, so you have to close your visor. Yeah. So I'm wondering if maybe the storm sometimes gets bad enough where the air vent can't even draw in enough oxygen anymore. I don't know. I mean, I have my ox my mask down, so... Well, that's the thing, too. Your suit would run out of oxygen, and then... Like, you wouldn't be able to draw oxygen from the environment. Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah. Oh, here's the thing. You don't have a closed-in cockpit. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, well, I mean, not... You You have it pressurized in a separate room. It's an open cockpit, though. No. <clears throat> what do you mean? It's it's a seat, right? Yes. So if you didn't have your, co your cockpit enclosed in a chamber that you created yourself, it would just be an open seat. I don't think it's those recharge... It's a pressurized room, though. Yeah, but the the seat itself won't um, give you oxygen. Uh, right, right, right. Like the enclosed cockpits. Yeah. Will. If you have no two source, yes. Yeah. So that's probably what did it. Yeah. You probably were just sitting in your seat and ran out of oxygen with your helmet down or your visor closed. Uh, what do I want to do first? Let's finish doing this so I can clean this up. I don't think that's going to get high enough. So yeah, that would be the drawback of uh, the way that you set up your vehicle. <clears throat> but if you log out or you know and you're seated seat, seated in your cockpit just make sure your helmet's open and that should that should help Oh yeah, where is the one that's not complete? That's what I need to do first, so I can climb all the way up there. That's that one right there. So... Nice, nice. Let's 
just do this. And then we'll get maybe 500 more steel plates. That should be enough to fix all that up. Nope. I'll run these away. Hadis away, Hachis away. Looks nice. I think from here, we'll just climb up there. We'll start cutting this thing down. What else am I missing? All right, we climb. Clean up our HUD. So many freaking waypoints. <laughs> Ooh, I don't. I'm no signal. I got seven minutes. can make it out there in seven minutes four kilometers away let's just take a look around up here real quick all right so when you're railing right there all right and the rest of it's on the crane itself so we need to do is one of these. Now that is in the way of that. Hmm. I'm going to be able to get out there. can't place a block. Oh, wait, maybe we can. So, seven. And then we can do number eight. the interior plates but we can make that happen let's see about operating on this thing
180 will be lined up Oop, in the other way. We were almost there and then I turned it around. Right there. Close enough. Row to lock it. And we'll see about... Hmm. How are we going to do this? By mistake, see? That's how mistakes can happen. Give me a break, dude. Let's go. I'm stupid. <laughs> That's why. Oh man, I could have just died right there. All right, let's just ramp up. Come down here. So, catwalk. Scaffold, maybe? Hey, maybe a piston will go through there. Let's see if a piston will pass through that. That looks pretty good. We'll use some of the newer blocks. small grid though so let's rotor or now nah, let's hinge it now nah, rotor rotor be fine
Let's see. So, not that one, but that one. We're gonna have to do some science here. I think we can pass through that with a piston, but I don't know. Hopefully we don't clang it out too bad. <laughs> Here we go. Maximum distance is cut it down to like one meter. Oh, that's perfect. So we can make the whole thing out of this. That look good too, I think. All right, let's cut this down. Uh, I wonder how I'm going to get that jigged up. I'll have to build some scaffolding. All right. We need girders in order to get this thing going. Girders. We need some girders. Girders and construction components and small steel tubes. Let's see. 2410. So we need more girders. Small steel tubes and maybe construction components. Let's just try this. Let's try two hundred girders. Let's see how far that gets us. We got girders. We got other girders. Oh no, because it's got to be able to. Hmm, it's got to be able to come all the way back. So we want to come back to here. So we can't use these. At least not that one. Oh, that's cool. Got to have like an open bottom. Kind of like that. So we're not going to be able to use these. Be able to use this one. Kind of like that. Then we need to get up there. So we're going to need to use the catwalks. We should use the railing ones. All right, let's just do this for now. Thank you. 
Construction components. Let's see what other blocks we got. We got the beam blocks. Hmm, those won't work. Yeah, those could work. Energy but. low. Hmm, these might. Put that out at the end. So that's not too critical, I mean, of a component, so it doesn't matter if it's a modified component. I'm not sure if it's modified or if it's just from an expansion, actually. We'll just stick this one right out here just because it looks cool. It looks like it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, okay. We need a little bit more of a runway. heck <sighs> give me a break what steel plates <laughs> Stupid game. That complete? Yeah, it's complete. Now, how am I going to get the piston through here? do one of these and then we have oh yeah let's cut away these because mm. shoot 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 shoot
That way we know we can cut it away without having to think about it. Energy critical. Let's get some energy, take a drink. some plates and this will fasten everything together good enough so that we can cut it all away right should work ooh Problem is going to be getting a rotor head in there. Oh, we can cut this one away anyway. We can always attach a rotor head separately. So the rotor head goes one behind the cockpit. We'll just have to remember that. Mmm, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are we doing? We're going to have to. Do a little something, something, something extra. Now will this attach the rotor head itself like that? It looks like it does. Do an experiment, I guess. Science. Rotor. Rotor parts. Rotor head. Hmm. I don't like that. Maybe on the voxels it'll work better. Nope. Nah, it doesn't attach, does it? Ah! Shoot. Alright, so what are we going to be able to do? We need to put a piston back here to prop it up. There. Piston with a magnetic plate. One of these modded pistons. We got the modded pistons because we're gonna use a lot of pistons for cranes and stuff anyway. And it's just a lot more friendly, user friendly, and clang friendly to have one long piston as opposed to chain linked smaller pistons. So we got this. modded piston pack piston mod uh, what was it like a mag plate we need uh, the mag plate please and thank you it's a matter of convenience
Alright, now we can detach this one. There we go, it's separated. Now we should just be able to get rid of that block. There we go. Yeah, we go. All right, so let's get my hinge group back up. In the name of science. Attach a small hinge head. Hinge lock on. All right, so we're gonna have to get our pistons back. Modded pistons, ooh, mouse sensitivity is way too high. We'll get the longest one. Now, how far back is this gonna need to be? One, two, three, four blocks length. And we want the end of it to stop right here. So, right there. One, two, three, four. So our hinge is going to have to go back here. So I'll cut away two more of these blocks. Right? I'm just gonna go here. I think it should go like this. And then we'll lock it into position. Here, let's build a separate ramp, I guess. This is an operation for sure. Attach a small hinge head. Uh, I guess we needed some more large steel tubes. Dumpster. I ought to put something in one of these dumpsters that's on fire. And we can have ourselves a dumpster fire.
clang out. And then velocity. Let's put it at zero. Hopefully that'll work. We might want to get an expert's opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and paint it up while we while we got it right here. Not wood, but heavy rust. Let's get our piston back. Is that right? Hmm. Kinda. Let's see how long it extends to. Just by itself. We might want to add in another piston too. If we want it to reach a little bit further, but we can do that later. We can always make it bigger, longer. We'll just take a little bit of scaffolding to get up there to operate on it. Not a biggie. It's part of the fun. Space engine nerds. What the hell? I thought I painted that. I guess I didn't select the right color for general purpose building. Keep it, keep it selected. Oh. Let's go up to maybe half the distance. It shouldn't reach all the way out here. I did roughly measure it out before, but I don't remember exactly where I placed the hinge next to this thing. Okay. Probably shouldn't have put that out there just yet. <laughs> That's not the max. Still got two more blocks to go. Stop making that noise. It's 29. That is intersecting that block now. Let's just cut this away, just for safety's sake. Should have just done that from the beginning. And then we'll dress it up later. 29 and a half. Yeah, maybe we'll dress it up, put something at the end. Son of a fuck.
it's working out pretty well if I do say so myself. It needs to be the right color. Damn it. Now, what else? Does that need to be stabilized somehow? Do I need to put some wheel suspensions on that part and have it roll on something? I don't know. We'll have to see how it works out. But right now, let's just slap up some, um, some plates. What we need is we need some steel plates. Let's drink a clan cola. Is that a clan cola or cosmic cola? Clan cola! Oh, they spelled clang wrong. They spelt it wrong. What the hell? Come on, man. Get your act together, freaking game devs. You know what the community, you know how the community spells it, don't you? That's right. It's for the community. It's for the community. You gotta do it for the community. Okay, that was wrong. We're doing it for the community. You gotta do it for the community. Oh, the community. The community. Do it for the community. Not the comedy, but the community. Here we go. Like this. So everything is on the outside where it should be. Oop. Wrong button. Let's go through here. And here. Can I reach that? Not quite. Yeah, I'll just redo that. Mmm, let's see. Out on the end here. Let's just give her one of these. Like that. Yeah, looks pretty good, pretty darn good, huh? We'll have to get back up there somehow. But how to attach the rotor head? That is the question now. So it'd have to be like that.
just have to have one like that, and then the other one would have to come. It'd have to be one like this. Oh, so hard to work without a jetpack. Let's see here. So that should all be connected up there. Up, down, and around. So we can cut this away. That's all connected up. Let's do one of these operations. Because this needs to be the rusty look. Give the old heave ho. that and then we'll do the same on the other side uh, but first let's uh, do we want to do this oh, let's get this side fixed up first I guess Yeah, let's do neon lights. Oh, we need interior plates. So one of each, really. Three and three. Three and three. How do you just make it functional? That's fun. We only need it to be functional. Uh, but then that would go the same for these sons of bitches. I eh, may as well just freaking leave it the way it is. If someone else has an idea then about it needing more integrity than we'll let an admin or whoever weld it to just functional. 
Oh, uh, let's see. If only the sun wasn't on that side of the damn thing. I could see a little bit better what's going on over here. So let's go ahead and build some scaffolding. Take care of this business over here. Paint it up, write it down. Now the other side should be good, so wrong, wrong. So we're just gonna freshen this all up, make it look good. together alrighty one critical mistake and it could all come crashing down <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't cause an issue with it going through this block. Mm, it might. I'll have to ask. Maybe Mad Cat will give me some better insight. I'm only doing it because it looks cool. It's not really serving much of a purpose. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. Have I missed anything interesting? Nope. Oh, well, uh, Hell's had to eat glass. Eat glass? <laughs> yeah. I, I took a jump into spinning circles of death. Oh, okay. Yeah, for some reason I joined the server and I was dead. Don't know why. And then I accidentally spawned at your base. Huh. What, we're calling it. Restart? We're yeah. calling it eating glass because that's what we called it in Seven Ways to Die, or Seven Days to Die. So, no, it's, it's Seven Ways to Die is also out. <laughs> more like more like seven hundred ways to die. <laughs> well, I mean that's a little bit worrisome. Did the server crash and sunk? Uh, I think I, I think I had some problems joining. I don't I don't know. I'm fairly certain it's because he had his visor down and he was sitting in his cockpit, but he doesn't have his seat hooked up to an O2 source. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it shouldn't be a problem if you join the moment the server is started, but if you're offline and someone else is on before the server is just time ticking, then yeah, it would use up your oxygen. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm really not All right. sure. Um... I think yeah. this is it. I think we got it. That's what it is. Did you lose any tools? Of course. Uh. <laughs> that sucks. Whenever I he just I lost his tools the other skinny, day. Skinny, skinny has a thing of that's bullshit spawns. So if the server is bullshit, there's, there's some there that I can grab. How do you... Is it shift P to... Yeah, shift oh, P. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Whenever 
I know there's a restart happening and I'm prepared for it, I always stash my tools in my cockpit. Just in case. Yeah. But that's like every 10th server restart. Because the other nine, I oh. forget that they're happening until mm -hmm. they happen. So I far, I've made a mistake. I been killed on any respawn at all. Or any respawn at all. Yeah, that was my first where it was uh, like that. I have had four deaths on the server. Which is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I was some catwalk. Uh, when my rover suddenly decided to detonate because I engaged or disengaged the parking brake or whatever. Mm hmm. Uh, but the other three was, yeah, that was me messing up. But one was kind of funny because I fell off the crane. Might have to redesign well, this. All, all the way up to the crane, fell off, landed, had two in health, and it's like, oh, I managed to survive that. I better get health, so started walking to my rover and like. Four steps uh, after I, I started walking, uh, I just died. So I think the server didn't really catch up with all the damage. Mm. So it took it like a good five, ten seconds for my client to realize that I was supposed to be dead, not alive. So I managed to walk a couple of steps and then die. All right, Clyde. Next time you come back to the base, I want you to take a look at a couple things I've got um, on the crane. As far mm -hmm. as like interference with the piston and um, scaffolding and whatnot, uh, we'll do. Because I can uh, always redesign it, but the way that I've got it designed right now, you know, some of the blocks do intersect, but it mm, shouldn't yeah. like hit anything physically. Well, we can have a look at it. I basically just had it out, and then the restart had happened, and I went and had dinner. So I will probably be a while before I come back. I did, however, so good. find two cryo beds, open pods, longer, unless they've been yeeted somewhere, but they shouldn't have been. I'm far away from any static grids. Yo, why did my button stop working? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. The hmm? oh well, the beds are all large grid, aren't they? The regular beds that don't need medical components. Okay. There are, I think there is some small beds, small grid beds as well. Uh, I'm not sure if they're modded blocks or if they're vanilla blocks, but I have seen small grid beds as well at some point. Uh, I never really used beds much, so I don't know if that's vanilla or not. So I was thinking, yeah, if in a pinch, if we needed more space, we could just have someone use a bed. Well, I mean, you can be, as long as the the room is pressurized, you can right. sit in a uh, passenger seat as well. Um, yeah, but that's not uh, very immersive. No, no, it's not. Definitely not. <laughs> that would be cryo beds, though, because then the room can be depressurized uh, and not kill everyone inside the room. But, yeah, in a pinch, a normal bed or a seat. No, I think I'll leave it like that until Clyde gets back and we'll take a look. We'll take a look, see? Make sure that these blocks that are on top of each other where the hitbox is uh, kind of intersecting, especially this one that goes straight through back here, make sure that that's not going to cause lag on the server. Because if it causes lag at all, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just redo it all and make it all all these all right. panels NK facing out. Because there's nothing that needs to actually go on the outside of the crane. Like the catwalks, those are facing down right now. I can flip them around. It just it take a little bit more doing. I have to put like uh, the neon light nope, nope, things nope. as as uh, fasteners. All the way along the thing. Oh. Kind of like this. 
Yeah, right now they can't really. Oh wait, they could. Hmm. Yeah, I have to come up with something. Like, let's see. The way it is right now. Right, like this. Seven. Yeah, you know what? I think that's better anyway. We're gonna go ahead and do that. don't think doing all of this will cause the thing to collapse at all but I think the main structure of the crane right now is very sound I wonder if I want the full catwalk built or if I want to leave it like this yeah like this is probably looking better Here is a little bit different situation because we got these blocks here. I think I can jump down here. There we go. A little bit of a different situation. Ah, shoot. So that was depending on that block to keep it up. Okay, that's a little weird. I bet you it's just a mistake. Not really a mistake, but something that wasn't necessary that's now necessary. To uh, make sure that these link up. Where's my panels? My plates. Oh. 
So I need to delete that. And that one's just gonna fall. There we go. So I bet you we can just give her one of these. Maybe not. How's he got this hooked up in that case? Oh, it's a, there we go, half slope like that. How did he get that? <laughs> oh, maybe that's because, let's see. can't tell what's going on up there. How do you do this? How in the heck did he get those end to end like that? And why can't I keep doing it? Nope. Maybe I gotta be above it. Oh, come on. Let's get rid of that one. Oh. Let's see if we can't get it to link up if I do this. We just connect it up down here. The heck? Where is it? <laughs> oh, yay! Sandstorm. <laughs> up and down here. Is that the one?
Why doesn't that work? It's being a jerk. Oh, there we go. It works like that. I guess that's gonna have to do it. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference from the ground anyway. I just don't want to clang or cause issues with the server. Energy low. <sighs> Come on. So what we're gonna do cut that away. Catwalks again. Catawalks? Scatawalks. Let's see, what do we need these in here first? Yes, sir. There we go. Outside plates. Probably won't be able to get one in here. Yeah. So it's at a minimum, at least. But we'll get rid of them completely if we have to. You know what? Let's put it back the way it was in that case. Make it look Gucci. Make it look all Gucci Scoochie. how it was. That's how she was. That is just how she was. this one on there oh yeah we can we just need to cut away this railing and use one with a railing on it like a so at the end. Kind of like that one, but I guess we'll use the one with just one railing on it. There. 
You'll never know the difference. In fact, we'll weld this one up. Okay, and you're not ever actually supposed to be up here anyway, so. Don't matter. Probably won't ever see it again. <laughs> energy low. All right, let's go get some energies. Energy, squ energy, squ energy, and energy. Inventory full. this and attach a rotor head right there. I am quite pleased with that. And it's loyal to the original design with a piston and maybe a little bit of a flare out here, but hey, I think it looks good just like that. It still looks close enough to the stock design. Let's go ahead and test out this thing. Let's cut these away. What is happening to some speed? Are you doing anything to off-cam? No. Huh. Nothing, you know, in particular right then. I was just cutting away some blocks, but they weren't attached to anything other than the base. Huh. Well, I guess the server was spawning something in then. Must have been, because I didn't feel any sim speed spiders. difference. I see spiders. I hate spiders. How how do you always come across spiders? I haven't seen a single spider. Oh, so you're lucky. They are pain in the ass. Quite literally. If they're running over. They did. Oh, I ran him over and killed him. That's not supposed to be able to happen, but okay. Okay, so we got plenty of clearance.
good. Just keep reversing. Alright, we're at 11 right now. Ooh, perfect. So 11 is... Let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4... Hmm, just beyond 5. My estimation was El Correcto. That should be fine just like that. It's only two pistons on a hinge. And this guy here, the hinge will say share inertial tensors. Or should the or would it be on the rotor? Hmm. I don't know, we'll leave that off for now. Maybe Clyde will have some input. Alright, so that's good enough for now. What's the next project? 